Hello everyone in YouTube. It's been a very, very long time since I made a video, so I thought I would do one today. Show you a little bit of the beauty of the garden right now. I can't even believe, sometimes I look at it and I just can't believe how amazing everything looks. Um, I have, I have had a few projects going on this year. This has been one of them, this whole little pathway around, um, the front or the side of the house. Um, and I mulched all this and then we, um, did this cute little pathway, or the, actually it's kind of weedy right now, but it, you know, you get the idea. Um, and then I have volunteers in here that I let grow. This was kind of an empty spot right here, except for the flowers. I had planted the perimeter. Um, and then I have these volunteers, which how fun that is. You'll have to forgive me, I'm a little out of practice of doing the videos, but... And then, over here, I had um, these white mulberry trees that um, I tried to dig them up so that I could move them. Because I don't... This is pretty shady right here. So white mulberry. And this one is also over here. And I um, couldn't dig them up. The roots go down so far that I just kind of cut them back. This one I made into a topiary. This little one here. I just, um, they grow up in, see how you can see the root of this one. This is white mulberry and it just reseeded itself. So there were multiple stems, and I've been cutting them back, and then I, and then I finally figured out what it was. And so I took all of the lower leaves off, the lower stems, and then braided this one, and made this white mulberry topiary, which hopefully it will grow, and hopefully I will get berries. So if you have this growing in your garden, um, don't um, destroy it because it, you never know what it's going to be because nature will just plant things for you and it kind of turns out great. So anyways, so here I have under this massive um, pine tree, I've got these little, and then I have one over here too, but I just kind of just trimmed it, and now it's getting all new leaves on it. It looks really cute. And then there is a elderberry over there, too. So. And then, of course, I have my pokeweed that I let grow every year. Pokeweed is poisonous. The berries are poisonous, but I think they are so beautiful and tropical looking that I let them grow here every year. Look at the the stems on that, they're just, I mean, you can't buy things. I mean, they grow from, this is a small one here. <clears throat> this is how they start in the beginning of this, of the spring. They're like this small. Here's some more. They're, now that the berries have dropped, they're all over the place. I, and they're easy, really easy to pull out, really super easy. Um, but just watch out. If you do have this plant, these berries are like a beautiful, the, the stems will become fuchsia, like the stems over here. Really, really dark pink. And then, um, the berries are dark, like a purple color. But they're beautiful. Beautiful. So, 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 so beautiful. 
so it just kind of adds this great, um, just this massive, beautiful, pretty under, it's like an, like an under the canopy sort of, and this is uh, mostly shade here. So anyway, I also did this garden up here this year, which um, can't really tell. I have herbs growing up here that I have to wait till they're ready to cut, but I'm taking over this little section. And what I really wanted was to do a pink and white garden up here. But everything that I bought, I bought perennials, and everything sort of turned into purple and white. Because apparently pink is hard to find, and then all this stuff grew. This is my uh, Japanese, giant red Japanese mustard. And so I let some things grow in here that, you know, probably... I shouldn't have, but that's okay. Got a little baby on the porch, sleeping. More hydrangeas. More hostas. The hummingbirds love these. In case you think that hostas are useless for anything, the hummingbirds love them. And then this circle, well, this is new too. All of this with my Buddhas. The, the Zen garden, I call it. <laughs> and I had bought a ginkgo tree last year, and I'm still debating on where I should plant it. So it's not looking great, but I've repotted it. So maybe it will survive. I should probably, I will probably plant it before, before um, the snow flies, but we'll see. And then these guys are in here. It's just so beautiful. So this, there's the well is right here. And Mike has um, run it over with the lawnmower so many times that I thought I would bring, I would extend the garden out here. I've even got a cool log with a, a hole in the side of it that I've planted flowers in. So this garden is new also, and this is, whew, it's getting warm. <clears throat> so I just had some leftover um, herbs and leftover flowers that I just kind of stuck in here. This was a spot where we had wood chips dumped. So, um... Now it's a little garden, and I put herbs, and there's some celery here. I put some cabbage that has been, the cat, my cabbage has got eaten terribly by cabbage moths. So I did have to break down, and, well, I picked off like 20 of them yesterday. And then I ended up doing just a dish soap rinse. And hopefully that will... That will be, oh no, I've got one right here. See, there is a cabbage worm. And I'm going to just take him right off. And I'm going to throw him over there. <laughs> I'm surprised because the marigolds are right there, but, and I've only got three plants here, and they're just annihilating the plants. So I have to keep an eye on this every single day so that, because they're getting inside, these, they're right inside, they like the new growth, so they're getting in there and eating everything. There's a dead one right there from yesterday. So it does really, the soap, I just put a couple capfuls of dish liquid in a gallon, or yeah, a gallon of water, and then I just poured it right on. And it did kill this little guy. 
but I also noticed I had to take out worms from here and put them in the bird bath and rinse them off because the earthworms were um, coming out and trying to get away from the soapy soil underneath because I put too much on. So if you can avoid um, putting too much soap, you know, and getting it into the ground because the, the earthworms, it will harm them. So I rinsed them off over there in the bird bath, and then I put them back into the dirt. So hopefully the earthworms didn't get um, killed. Even though my chickens, you know, I let the chickens eat them, so I, I can't really be too crazy about it. But anyway, so this one was a volunteer. I kind of just thought this was, um, it reminded me of, of broom corn. And then look at that. Oh, there's a little dragonfly. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, love that. So look at the roots. This is what broom corn does, sorghum. So I'm thinking this is a wild, sort of a wild hybrid of broom corn that just volunteered. I just thought it was pretty when I first saw it, so I left it. And now it's getting a tassel. And hopefully I'll get tassels on all of these stems here. Don't mind my, those, that's all um, firewood behind there, so just don't mind that. That's an ugly eyesore, but it's, this is real life, people. <laughs> so, oh, under here is, it's like 10 degrees cooler under here, just walking into this little space. I've got to clean out the bird bath for the birds. I have been keeping um, these filled for the summer. Um, I've just been Sometimes I'll forget for half a week or so because um, they're eating out of the feeder so less frequently that um, I just feel like, you know, I forget and then I... So that is the side and we use this door mostly in the summertime. Well, we use, actually, we have, there's three entrances to the house, so we use, we really do use all the entrances in the summer. It's the winter, usually, that I just use that entrance in there, and that's the kitchen, as most of you already know. This little goose I found on the side of the road, this planter, I found this on, a, on the side of the road probably 15 years ago. And that as well as this Adirondack chair that it isn't sitable, but it's perfect for the garden because the cat's pickles will sleep on it. So I'm almost going to avoid <laughs> going into the backyard because it's so hot today. But we have had, um, we have a really, we've had a great summer. We've had a really great summer. I'm probably not going to do, maybe I'll just do this in short little, piece. I'm always almost at 14 minutes already. Wow. <laughs> but these have, um, the morning glories are already starting to close up. It must be the heat of the day. So there's the beach. Haven't used it a ton this year, but we've really been enjoying the weather because it's just been so nice. And the heat's not bothering me as much this year. So the next video I will do the rest of the property. This is my little garden tour of what I've done this summer. Um, but I love this little entrance to the different gardens here. That's one of my favorite little spots. This little entranceway with the hydrangeas. And these get so big that, I mean, look at that's my hand. <laughs> look how big. These are called um, Incredible. 
hydrangeas, and they stay green when you dry them. This little lantern, I put a solar light in here. I thought it was perfect for the little Zen garden. But it's actually a lantern, and then I put the solar light in there with some mulch to help it stand up. I just took the top off of a solar light, so this will light up at night. And I bought, I found this at a garage sale for two dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna end this here, you guys. Um, I do have several subscribers that are new. I just wanted to kind of make a video of the new stuff this year. I will try to, um, look at the little bumblebee. There's a little bumblebee on the catnip over here. I will try to keep making videos. I'm not going to do too much editing this year. Hopefully the, the quality is good on these because I do have a different phone. I'm using my phone instead of the camera. So the quality just hasn't been super great on the camera. So for the first video in a while, here we get, here it is. <laughs> if you like this sort of thing, um, subscribe, like the video, and um, if you feel like leaving a nice comment, I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy August.